Hello fellow beekeepers. I wanted to show you something I kind of came across and made a DIY um, in hive or outside of hive feeder. I happened to see some buckets that had been thrown out and they're food grade buckets. Um, they came from a hotel. You can find these probably maybe at restaurants and things. They hold one gallon, and what I noticed is that on the inside here, uh, which is kind of, not the lid, but the part of the bucket part, but there was individual little compartments in here, as you might be able to see here. And um, they come up fairly high, but not all the way to the top. And I got to thinking, maybe if I drilled a hole from the inside of the bucket, a small hole out to each one of these little compartments uh, maybe I could get this to uh, work as a feeder so there were certain areas that I did not want to drill through I'm going to show you those right now so for instance here where these handles for the carrying handle go into I marked them off so I wouldn't drill through these because if I did it would leak and then over here Again, this is a, you have to pull this off to be able to get the lid off. Uh, there was a little retaining piece on here which has been pulled off. But again, I marked these so I won't drill holes through here. And again, over on the other side of the handle. And I went in and I marked the inside of each little compartment with a, with a little mark as you see here. And that's where I'm going to drill my holes and I wanted them down fairly low. And the drill bit that I'm using is right here. I'm using a 5 64th um, inch drill and uh, a very small hole. And I will drill on the inside of here, um, just through the inside of this pail, but not out through here. Otherwise, it's going to leak. So I'm going to drill one through here just to show you. Okay, that's all I needed, just, just to go through this little inner part of the pail here. This did not go through the outside here, so this allows sugar water to come out into each one of these individual little troughs that you hopefully can see here, And uh, but it won't uh, come out into the areas I don't want it, like, like here for instance. So number one, I didn't drill a hole, but as you will see, the uh, sugar syrup or syrup sugar water for the bees won't leak down and over into these areas it won't overflow there okay so for demonstration purposes i put about roughly a quart of uh, just plain water in here but with some uh, food coloring some orange food coloring just so you'll be able to see this uh, going into the little troughs easier so we're going to go ahead and put a, a lid on here Make sure it's down on there nice and tight all the way around. And um, the, I just have this sitting up on a block, but you want this to be fairly level, which it is. And if you're going to use this as an in hive feeder, you'll want your hive to be pretty level too. Otherwise, just the way the principle of the way this works, you'll get too much of your sugar syrup going to one side and possibly spilling over. So this works most efficiently if it's, it doesn't have to be perfectly level, but fairly level. So we're gonna turn this over and show you how the liquid goes in here. And again, it's got orange food coloring in it, so you'll be able to see it easier. And we're gonna put on our lid here and make sure it's on there good and tight. And once you got it on there tight, um, it is pretty much a leak proof bucket but now we're going to turn this over and you'll be able to see the uh, liquid going into these little compartments here on the side okay so there you can see the liquid slowly flowing into this uh, compartments here And they don't come all the way up to the top. They don't even go up to the little uh, 
indentation here. And again, it, it's important that you get it pretty level. And because of the small holes, this uh, forms a vacuum pretty quickly. So um, it, it really doesn't overflow, but it'll keep coming in here and the bees will come in into each little compartment here, as you'll see in a minute. And they can kind of hang on to the edges. Even if they fall in, they really can't drown because this is pretty shallow and they can get up and out of there pretty quickly. So again, this won't leak. And we're gonna show you how this works on a hive too, or inside the hive. So now let's see how the bees uh, open feeding outside uh, works. So, well, it didn't take the bees very long to find this uh, feeding pail all of about 15 minutes and uh, there is a honey dearth going on right now so they're really out looking but uh, anyway you can see that the bees are able to get down in there where the sugar water is this is sugar water there's a little bit of food coloring left in it too but uh, I added some one-to-one -one sugar water to this so they're down there feeding on the sugar water and uh, as you see right here, there's plenty of room for several bees to get down into the sugar water at once. And as you can see, two or three are tanked up and they left. And uh, they're not getting stuck or drowned. They're getting their fill and taken off again. So they really do go for it. They're not falling in it and getting drowned. They're just uh, partaking of the sugar water. And uh, no sugar syrup is being spilled or leaked out. And again, this block that they're sitting on is fairly level. So let's just watch the bees coming and going here for a bit. Anyway, this is a good shot where you can see the bees are kind of hanging on to the edge with their hind feet and going down to flap up the uh, sugar water. So again, they don't fall in. There's a nice shot of a bee hanging onto the edge and got his tongue out and sucking up the sugar water. Looks like he got his stomach full and he's heading back. So this feeder really works good, and uh, there's only about a quart in here. And they'll probably have this gone probably pretty quickly, but uh, whether you use it for an open feeder like this, if you have three or four out as for open feeders, if you have a number of hives, um, I think it'll work really good, a gallon at a time. And uh, even if you use it in hive, maybe during the winter or something like that, or if there's a potential for robbing and you want to have it enclosed in the hive, I think this is a great little feeder that you might be able to find these little pails or buckets for and uh, make your own. Okay, so this is the inner cover. So this would be the top of your hive and we have a hole here. So with this uh, pail feeder, to put this in, now you don't need any shims or anything, but you can just tip it up, put it in, make sure your hole here on your inner cover is open. And you should be able to see that, again, the in this case, it's just water with food coloring, will go in here. Now, you have to use a deep box, uh, a deep super, if you will. And then, of course, you can put your cover on here. But uh, there's probably, I don't know, three inches from here to the top, but it won't work with a medium super. You have to use a full box. But you don't have to do anything other than what you just saw. You don't have to put shims underneath. As long as the bees have access to come up in here, they'll be able to get up here through the inner cover, which is on top of the hive, 
and get in here and access the sugar water. And again, it doesn't leak. As long as you've got it fairly level, your hive fairly level, um, this this will work perfectly. And uh, again, this this will hold one gallon. And depending upon, you know, you probably have to keep an eye on your bees just by taking off the the uh, the lid, the the, co the top cover, and checking to see how your sugar syrup is doing. But probably one gallon is going to last a little while. And but that's all you need to do. And then to once it's empty, you can just pull it out, refill it, and put it right back down into the top of the hive, as you see here. So um, I think this little pail feeder uh, is great. If you checked around, uh, you can probably find these buckets around. Uh, check at restaurants, hotels, any place where they may have food. I think some fruit cocktail came in this originally but um, just check around they are food grade and they have a good tight fitting lid and just drill those real small um, 5 64 inch holes like I showed and you'll have a, a really good uh, little feeder which can be used in the hive or as you saw earlier you can put it up uh, on a block or something for outside feeding uh, the important thing is to have it fairly level and it won't leak out and as you can probably see here this is not uh coming up that close to the top and let me